Hello, my name is Dr. John Green. I'm a Rodox telemedicine physician. Prior to joining Rodox, I was an emergency medicine physician for the past 30 some years. One of the things that I noticed in the emergency room would be that occasionally I would run across a patient who had gone down what I would call a medical rabbit hole. He was going from doctor to doctor, taking test after test, x-ray, on 15 different medications, and having no, not the faintest idea of what his diagnosis was or why he was taking the medication. But his trust in doctors and not having enough knowledge of medicine, he didn't want to stop a medicine that was important or not do a test that may save his life. So he would continue on down the medical rabbit hole, even though oftentimes he was feeling worse and that had something to do with him repeatedly coming to the emergency room. You may not follow exactly what I'm trying to get at, so I will give you an example of something that happened to a close relative of mine. She's about 50 years old, energetic, medically in good shape, had never had a doctor or, or medication, uh, but was at the hospital for her husband. While waiting on her husband's uh, test, then she saw a sign that said hypertensive screening. So she thought that was a good idea, went to get her blood pressure checked and was told that it was a little elevated and she needed to see the doctor who was conveniently next door. She saw him and he gave her blood pressure medicine, some discharge instructions and information on hypertensive. He also took her blood work and her urine and told her that she needed a mammogram, a colonoscopy, and a pap smear, which she set up an appointment for and left for the day. During the week, she was called and told that she had urine protein in her urine as well as a urinary tract infection. So she went back to the hospital, picked up some antibiotics and began to take them along with her high blood pressure medicine. Shortly after a few days, she noted itching and burning. So for the first time in her life, she went to the emergency room, never having these symptoms before. And she was given a cream which only partially worked. So she made her second trip to the emergency room where she was given one pill, the flu can. In the meantime, her appointment to the nephrologist came up. He decided that she needed a different kind of blood pressure medication and she needed a CAT scan and a sonogram of her kidneys. She needed a specialized urine. She also needed more blood work. She wasn't sure because she didn't get a chance to speak with him very long uh, whether she should take his blood pressure medicine and the primary care's blood pressure medicine. So she ended up taking both, which caused her to feel dizzy and much worse than ever. And so she made her third trip to the emergency room for which she spent the entire day before they diagnosed her dizziness to be due to the medication. In the meantime, she had had several tests, EKG and all the things that go along with that as well, and a CAT scan of her brain. All right, now she goes back to the primary care, and of course there's another doctor there who didn't know her, uh, decided that she needed to be put back on the medicine that she was started on, as well as a cholesterol medicine and another medicine for which she had no idea of what it was for. The medicine was making her feel so bad with palpitations and fatigue that she made her fourth trip to the emergency room. She called the doctor and told the doctor that she was having side effects from the medication and he snapped at her and told her to just keep taking the medicine if she wanted to feel better. This left her somewhat irritable and so when the ER doctor came in, she admittedly snapped at him and he very professionally accepted it, but then he put in a consult for mental health. I think you get the gist of where I'm going because she continued down this rabbit hole for 
several more years. The CAT scan, uh, the mammogram, uh, and the pap smear and the uh, colonoscopy all were considered suspicious findings and she had to get further testing. One of the things that I would like to do and I decided to make part of